All right, hey everybody. Uh, just doing a quick video for the maintenance series on cleaning your air filter. From what I understand, uh, one of the best ways of taking good care of your engine is to keep your air filter clean and keep your oil changes up. Uh, I've already done the oil change. Uh, I didn't, didn't film it. Uh, there's plenty of videos on oil changes for the KTM. So um, there's also some videos on cleaning the air filter, but I'm gonna do one because uh, this one's a little cheaper than the uh, previous ones that I've seen at least where you had to buy the cleaning kit uh, for the twin air air filters and that cleaning kit on Rocky Mountain is uh, pretty expensive. I think it's around 80 something dollars. Um, so I found a solution locally here at a motorcycle shop. All right, so this is Spectro uh, Performance Oils Filter Cleaner. It says it takes time or less time than other brands. And I can tell you, I, I cleaned a, a, I cleaned my spare filter earlier and I'll tell you this stuff works really good. Spray it on there, takes about a minute and then just uh, hose down the filter and it comes clean. It looks almost as good as new. It's about uh, $9 uh, at my local shop. So I'm sure they're kind of expensive. So it's probably cheaper a lot of other places. Uh, so we'll go through the process of removing the filter and cleaning it and uh, let's get started. All right, for those of you who don't know, your filter is in this compartment right here. You can just pop this cover out, this little plastic cover, and just work it off. It comes right off. And then there's your air filter. So the filter's held in by this rod that kind of keeps tension on it, pushing it in at the center. You can just push it in and unclip it down at the bottom, and it comes right off. Pull it out, and then you can pull your whole air filter out. And it's gonna have the screen and this frame attached to the filter. All you're gonna do is carefully just pull the filter, the foam right off of those notches. Now your filters, if you haven't done this before or you don't know anything about filters, uh, they're oiled, right? That's to help trap the dirt. Uh, so they're kind of greasy. You can put some gloves on if you want to and I will be putting gloves on soon because the chemicals I'm gonna be using that spray is uh, some strong stuff. So when I get my screen off, I'm gonna clean the screen as well. All right, so let's get to cleaning it. I have these uh, latex gloves that I'm gonna be using. These are uh, Gorilla, I believe is what the, the uh, brand is called. I got them at Walmart and uh, they've got, if you can see that, I don't know, but they've actually got grip on them and that actually helps with the cleaning part. They're ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> I really tried to work everything uh, out from the inside out because as the dirt travels into the filter it goes this way we kind of want to push it back out the same way it came and now this stuff in the instruction says uh, before we spray it on we're gonna make sure that we get any crusties off so you can see here there's some crusted and greasy dirt we're gonna kind of work that off gloves here helps like I said the grip it really helps without tearing the foam just kind of comes off like mud all right so now we'll start spraying this and we're gonna soak this thing really good and stay in a ventilated area because this stuff you don't want to breathe it in I'm catching a little bit right now and it's uncomfortable and I've got the garage door wide open. So now I'm gonna flip this inside out. I'm gonna hose it down some more. And just pay extra special attention to the places where there's a lot of built up grime, discoloration. All right, that looks good from the inside. And now I'm going to spray the outer. And lots. I'm going to be liberal with this, man. I'm going to use a lot of it, especially in the really grimy areas. I want this thing soaked through and through with this cleaner. So 
that's pretty good right there. Now I'm just gonna rub it up a little bit using the, the grip on the gloves to kind of help clean some of the stuff off. And make sure this stuff is really soaked into this foam by squeezing it. All right, so it says to let it set for one minute and then uh, we're gonna rinse it off. So we're gonna move out to the, uh, to the outdoor hose. It says to use warm water, but I'm not taking this stuff in the house. So I've got the hose here. And I'm gonna set it up on the nice little cone spray here. And then watch how quickly this thing, you can already see this thing's getting clean just by sitting. Watch how quickly it comes clean. So I'm kind of just rinsing it. I don't want to be pushing uh, the dirt through the other way. In fact, I should have flipped it inside out and started with this side. So we'll flip it inside out and blow it from the inside out. That was kind of a mistake there. Once I'm done doing this, I'm going to dump out this dirty water, rinse out the bucket, and then do some deep rinsing in the clean water. I want to rinse out all of this cleaner that I've been putting on there. Bring this out a little bit gently. Damage it. And we're going to dump, bring it out, dump it, rinse it one more time. Now this is the original filter that I bought with the bike, um, and it looks like it's getting pretty close to maybe be needing to be replaced. But I've washed it, I don't know, several times. I was previously using K&N's cleaning kit, uh, which did not do as good of a job as this uh, Spectro thing does. So, anyways, you can see that it's not. Uh, back to its normal uh, green color, but this is pretty clean. It's pretty good um, But it is a little softer than the other one. I can feel that it's a little more worn. I can tell I'll Just Throw out some paper towels here and roll it up And we're gonna press it Let that towel soak up as much moisture as we can get it here in the sun and then uh, let, let it air dry for a little bit okay next we have uh, the dust cover um, that goes over our air filter this does not come with the bike I bought this separately uh, it just helps because we're in a really dusty area here it's a monsoon season right now but most of the year it's pretty dry and we get a lot of dust and then the frame so I'm gonna clean both of these off really good at getting this grime and grease off so I'm gonna go ahead and use it on this and then we'll just dip it in the bucket that looks pretty good PJ1 foam filter oil treatment spray. So that's what we're going to use. Shake it up really good. Knead it. Work it into the foam. Alright, we've got our filter cleaned, oiled. 
now we're going to put it back on this frame here. So you can see there are the three holes. We just line it up the same way. And obviously you don't want to rough it up, just take it nice and easy. And if you take these edges with the holes in it, you'll just pull it out, line it up with the hole. Just work it in there nice and easy. Don't try to force it or tear it. There we go. That went in easy enough. There we go. All of them are in. And now we can put the filter back into the bike. Okay, so we got it lined up. It has an up arrow on it, so it kind of made it dummy proof. Side's in. Got it. There we go. And it's in. And I'm going to feel in the back to make sure that it's seated all the way, all the way around the air filter. Should be seated up against the air boot. You can just put the air box cover right back on. There we go. All done.